It's early September and I'm out here on the St. Lawrence Seaway. We're in the Montreal area. There's hundreds of miles here of the St. Lawrence Seaway. It's a tremendous musky fishery. Got potential for some of the biggest fish on the continent. And that's kind of why I'm here. I hadn't been out here to see my good buddy Mark Thorpe. He guides this area here. He's a musky legend in the area. Uh, the weather is not supposed to be kind to us though. We're supposed to have wind, 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 kind of cold front situation. It's not going to be easy on us, but they do call him the predator. And I've got confidence because he's the predator, because he'll never stop, we'll show you the next bite. Just looking for the next bite, next bite, next bite, next bite. Just looking for the next bite. miles long, the St. Lawrence River is the second longest river in all of Canada, and it has been the subject of many Quebec-based novels, poems, songs, television, and even two films by maritime pioneer innovator Jacques Cousteau. I think we're going to run 40 on the inside, no, 32 on the inside, maybe. 32? That's pretty precise. More importantly, however, for local Quebec musky guide and conservationist Mark Thorpe. I was going for eight, but now I just hit some slack water. And ESOX expert and author Pete Mena. The St. Lawrence is also known for producing some of the largest muskies in the world. Always loved the chompers. <laughs> it's big muskies in big water with fast trolling and fast currents. There's a common misconception about trolling for muskies. Some people think that it's kind of the lazy way to fish. I guess it can be. I mean, you can just go out and throw a couple rods out and eat sandwiches and drink drinks, but you're probably not going to catch many fish. The reality is, even though I personally prefer casting, if you're trolling right, you're working harder in most cases than you ever are going to be casting. Number one, you need somebody that's really, you know, dedicated to driving the boat, especially in a situation like this. Somebody who's good, somebody who knows the structure, knows how to read the electronics. Mark here is, is the one in charge of that because he knows this fishery, but he's got extremely sharp edges to work here. He's dealing with current and he's dealing with waves. For that reason, we're actually using the big motor instead of the kicker so he can make turns precisely. The other thing we have is just a lot of weed bombs here. If you're just sitting down there eating a sandwich, you're not going to see the next weed bomb. You may not notice that that rod's not vibrating anymore in an individual weed. If you're standing up here like I am, you're watching, you can see a weed blob come. Sometimes you can steer a rod out away from that weed blob, and then it's your job to keep them clean. Fish, 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 me! Watch them come right over the screen. Really? Yep. Did you hear me? How much food you got? Because I was eating. When she was eating. Fifteen. 15 foot down. Come over this way. Whoa! She teeth only. Oh, yeah. Angry! Angry! Look at that in that clear water. Looks like a decent fish, hey, Pete? Yeah, look at him growling. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, Mark. Please pull. Yeah! Nice one, man! All right. When she came up right back there, the bait changed, but she had it just, just crosswise like a bratwurst, man. She was like, ah! Kind of took care of one hook, but <laughs> we may want to replace well, that Well, we one. always like the headshots. <laughs> Get you to grab that net. I'll put that bait away for us. You got the net, Pete? Yep. Move this away out of our way. 
That's the tag one, dude. It is? Yeah. Nice, like that. The St. Lawrence Muskie Tagging Program has been going on for about four years, an effort Mark and other anglers are part of to observe everything from the spawning telemetry of these apex predators to aging charts based on collecting pelvic fin samples. This particular fish is part of the four to five percent that are typically recaptured during this ongoing fishery study. <laughs> That's a bigger fish than I thought, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at that. Monstrosity. Beautiful. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. That was a cool hit. <laughs> that thing just started peeling. All right. And boy, she's ready to go, guys. <laughs> oh, she's in good shape, too. Spectacular swim off. The next bite is brought to you by Mercury, number one on the water. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Tracker boats, fish, the finest. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Berkeley, catch more fish. Mustang, stay sharp longer. Lowrance, find, navigate, dominate. Motor Guide, never stop. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. And Power Pole, swift, silent, secure.